Hi, my name is Rajinder Rupal, and I wanted to document my body and my face, I guess, in case I pass away. I wanted to have my parents know that I didn't do anything to them wrong that I know of, and except for not calling, but um, that was because there's so many things that they don't know about that happened to me and are still happening to me. And obviously, I don't have their number, but um, or their contact information or anybody else time I get like a phone it's stolen from me anytime I get a computer it's stolen from me anytime I get anything it's stolen from me and I'm robbed every hour every day like literally for the last three years four years and non-stop by people around me it's like a conspiracy but it is a conspiracy it's a criminal conspiracy because I've been rendered helpless, homeless, tortured. I don't have a place to stay, and I'm mentally handicapped, but that doesn't mean anything to anybody. But I've made a handicap because of so many reasons. When you take somebody's ability to eat food, when you take somebody's ability to have their own transportation, it took me three years of panhandling to get a car stolen from me. Every time I get an EBT food stamps card taken from me by force, Within the next 24 to 48 hours, I'm getting EBT food stamps. I can't even have that, thanks to Kamazi and his fucking gang. You know, then I can't eat food because of him. I can't fucking have a place to stay because of fucking somebody else. I get assaulted by somebody with a fucking golf club in named D in fucking Oakland. The day I find some computer stuff, I come over with a dumpster full of it. And I'm assaulted, and they broke my leg. The shin, the, they shaved my shin bone off, it, like with a golf club, they sliced it off. I was bleeding profusely from my fucking leg. There were air bubbles coming out of my leg for four days. Nobody helped me, not medics, not Oakland police, while I lay outside the Oakland police headquarters. And this is after I've healed already from their beating before. You know? In somewhere around May or so of 2018 is when I was cleaning a fucking place up on uh, the cul-de-sac and end of 5th Street. That's when they fucking assaulted me when I came outside. Oakland PD, uh, not retired, he was like an old, tall, white dude, clean shaven. Yeah, he's from Vegas. He had a Vegas ID, but not a fucking um, uh, Vegas license. And he's a Marine guy. He attacked me by fucking picking up a 12 pound steel barbell would you do weightlifting with without the plates on and he beat me with it and he stabbed me in my fucking back and he broke three broken ribs I had a deflated lung and threw me in the trash to die I barely managed to get out of that and that the fireman took me to Highland Hospital where he himself came in the next day and I tried to see if I was okay and to file a police report so I did lie to him that I don't remember who it was and I got out of there you know and while I was hiding, so many other things happened to me, even in respite care. That was like 2018 for me. The beginning of 2018 started great with January, right before my court date. I got beat up at 7-Eleven by the lake, across from Whole Foods or whatever, by a guy who beat me up so bad that he, I had to have my wires shut. My jaw was wired shut because he took a suitcase and he fucking dumped it on my head and he punched me so many times for no reason at all, at all. And that was like great. And then my leg incident was three days before my house my house got sold for auction. All I had to do was go to court and say, no, I didn't take that loan out, and it's my place. That's all I had to say. And I would have still had my house at 1615 167th Avenue, San Leandro, California. But I couldn't make it to court because my leg was broken. You know? I hid in Berkeley everywhere I go. And then no matter where I go around here, every fucking time I have to move within fucking three days or so, Somebody comes and kicks me out of my place. They take over to my shelter that I've built. And then all of a sudden when I leave, I have no choice. They fucking, some, somehow it gets burned or like fucking destroyed somehow. And then Caltrans comes to pick it up. And then all of a sudden I'm seeing the same group that kicked me out driving a brand new car. And this has been going on for like fucking so long, including the East 12th and 26th Avenue, I built a whole iron looking structure with my fence, my bare hands, I built that whole, it's my house. It got stolen from me. It took me eight months of dragging panels to build that fucking place from Home Depot and other places out of garbage. It got stolen from me by a fucking guy named Muffin, 
and also by another guy named Kawazi and uh, Sean and Mark Scallions, all of them, the drug dealers, fucking took the fucking time and they fucking do so many bad things at that place. And I did, I did nothing but help people at house. I had like every single from the woman who had like nowhere else to go in the middle of the night, they came and stayed with me all the time. And now it's fucking, I don't know what else done to it. But every single person got rich off of me, but me. And then I cooking, went to Oakland. You know, I went to Oakland again to like fruit, uh, no, the Home Depot area where I felt safe before. And now all of a sudden these young white bitches came up and they fucking assaulted me, robbed me, nonstop trying to show off to somebody that they're special and I'm not. And they robbed me and they beat me and they poisoned me. I was bleeding out of my nose like I had a quart and a half of blood lost out of my fucking nose bleed. And uh, I'm sitting there waiting to die on the fucking corner across from Shell and 8th Street and Home, Home Depot area, whatever. At the middle of the intersection, I was waiting to die. I couldn't call you because of these reasons.